Every home and kitchen seems to have at least one of these. A wooden bowl, whether it's a brand new one you picked up at the store, an heirloom bowl that might have been in your family, like this one, for around 100 years, or maybe an incredible bowl like this that's just almost too beautiful to use. No matter the bowl, I'll show you four different ways on how to clean and maintain your bowls so they last a lifetime. This is an honest review. I paid for all the supplies with my own money. So let's go to a top-down shot and get into the details. The four tools you have in your wood cleaning arsenal, whether it's a cutting board or a bowl, are these. Olive oil, mineral oil, this butcher block food grade mineral oil, natural wax combination. This works really well and is highly rated on Amazon. Or just regular cloth and water. You can use a paper towel if you don't have a cloth. Here's the advantage of olive oil. Readily available, you can use it to cook and to seal your surfaces. Mineral oil is more of a unitasker. You can use it as a lubricant. Laxative, well, I'll just let your imagination wander there. This is a combination of mineral oil and beeswax and canuba wax. Made in the good old USA. If you're gonna be sealing a lot of wood, whether it's bowls, or block, this is worth the investment. We've had this bottle since 2015 and it's now eight years later and it's still going strong. Probably got almost a half of a bottle left. For a new bowl that you get from the regular store, it's probably got some sort of coating on it, maybe a really light polyurethane. And that might be okay if you're gonna use it for a chip bowl. If you're gonna put like a salad that has a dressing in there, I'd probably go with olive oil to seal it up. And then the outside, you could just kind of clean this off with a towel. You wouldn't have to seal it. Although if you did seal the outside of this, it might give it a little more character than the finish that's on there now. This heirloom bowl is just really special. We have no idea who made it. It's gotta be at least 100 years old. It's got almost a patina on it, similar that a really good antique frying pan would have. It's a little tacky to the touch. Uh, you could use Put your block oil on there if you wanted to, but I would go more for an olive oil, especially if you're using this for like a bread bowl where you're going to knead bread or mix things. This is a great salad bowl. So olive oil is the solution for this one. Or if you feel like it's got enough of a patina on it, and I don't know what else to call it, it's really kind of protected by 100 years worth of oil and whatever else they put in there. After using it, I just kind of lightly moisten a dish towel and then I'll just go around like that, clean it out, and then turn it over on a dry side and just wipe it out. You could also use a paper towel, but I guess I'm just a little more environmental and I don't want to burn through hundreds of paper towels. This bowl is, I believe, burled maple. It's an artisan bowl. It's beautiful and it's coated with a polyurethane rub or spray. If you're gonna use this for actual everyday food, I would be real apprehensive to use the butcher block conditioner or the olive oil on this. If you use bowls like this for like a salad bowl, even though it's an artisan bowl, that much beauty in it, I would wipe it out with a wet dish towel, dry it off, you could do it with a paper towel. This would be great for chips, an arrangement of dry foods, crackers, whatever you have. Putting a, a wet salad in here, you could do it, but I just wouldn't want to ruin this bowl, and we've never used it for that. Here's an antique cutting board. Here's the back of it. It's a real beautiful thing. It's gotta be pretty old. I don't know if it's 100 years old. It's definitely 50, 60, 70 years old, probably before World War II. And it's got a patina on it, very much like this bowl does. Maybe a little less, and you can see out here where maybe it was used to make bread or noodles or whatever it is. So if you were to use this cutting board, I would. I'll just use some olive oil on it. I definitely wouldn't use mineral oil on it. But to clean it, a little bit of soapy water if you need to, depending what's on here, and just finish it off that way. It's a real charm to have a piece like this and like this. Do you have any other ideas on how to clean and maintain bowls? If you do, post in the comments below so we can all benefit. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of ways of maintaining the things in your house, how to fix things in your house, designs of all kinds, making and breaking stuff, I even do 
Costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what helpful ideas you may see.